Howdy Cowboys and Cowgirls, Ultra Cowboy here, and on today's video I'm going to be discussing the top three choices that I have for Ultra Shoes for Trail Running. Let's go. I will be the last to fall. Alright, before we get started, if you're finding value in this content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, put in the comments below, what are your favorite trail running shoes? What do you put on your feet that gets you the distance? So on today's video, we're going to be discussing the top three or my top three choices for trail running shoes from Ultra. Um, I've used multiple other brands of shoes in the past, and I'm an Ultra guy through and through. I've used Brooks. I've used Hoka One Ones. Um, I've had... Uh, New Balance shoes, all kinds of different shoes, and they're all great. Um, they may be great for other people, but I found that my go-to shoe is always Ultra, whether it's trails or roads, Ultra's my shoe. And so we're going to be covering uh, trail running shoes today. And so there, there are three choices that I've got as my top picks, and each one of them has a different case situation that I use them for. So first, I'm going to be discussing the... Uh, Ultra Superiors, and these are Superior 4s. There are 4.5s out right now, uh, but I was able to get a great deal on these since they're you know, last season's model, and I've run in these before. They fit great, they work great, so I've actually got three pairs of these shoes right now. Um, but these are Ultra's minimalist trail running shoes. So if you look, they're zero drop, just like all of Ultra's shoes. Um, it doesn't have a really thick sole, and these shoes are worn down. These ones actually have over 400 miles on them. Um, but this is a brand new pair of Ultras I haven't broken out yet. Um, but you'll notice that the lugs aren't super deep. It does have a good lug system. It's got some soft foam in between. Um, but it's not definitely not the deepest. And going inside, you know, the, you know, the inside of the sole, the soft part of the shoe right here, it does have some padding. And there is a rock plate that comes with the Superior 4s and earlier versions um, to kind of help protect against the rock since they are more minimalist shoes. But I found that these shoes are phenomenal. If I'm going to be running on the trails and I want something light that's quick, that lets me kind of feel the ground with my foot still, uh, but not going super long distances. I have run, you know, 40 plus miles in these on really rocky, rough terrain, technical trails. And by the end of the run, it's just put a lot of stress and strain on the foot. Um, if you want to go for that and really build up, you know, foot toughness, uh, these you can go on longer runs. What I found I enjoy most on runs like 10 to 15 miles or less. They do work great on technical trails. I run on really loose dirt, on kind of, you know, steep, rocky, uh, scrambling situations. Uh, because it does have a, uh, a shorter lug system, these are also good if you want to be doing some road running or if you're running from roads or sidewalks onto trails. Uh, they still have some pretty good surface area to get some grip when you're not out, you know, on the hardcore trails. Uh, but this is, this is probably one of my, you know, most favorite shoes to use for day-to-day -day trail runs. Now, if I'm going to be doing something more, I mean, I guess for me, for an ultra mid-range distance, or if I want something that's got a little bit more cushion, uh, then we've got here, these are the Ultra Lone Peaks, and I think these are the 3.5s. I got these a couple years ago, but Ultra makes super high-quality shoes. I've run, um, what? a uh, 100-mile race, a 50-mile race, lots of training runs in these. You can see that the, the lugs are starting to get worn down a bit, but they still work great. They're still comfortable to put on, so I'm still using these this workhorse shoe. And it's just kind of a great mid-range, kind of all-around shoe. If you want a little more, uh, a little more cushion for your foot, and you're going to be going longer distances, this is one that I'll use. Or if I want to switch halfway through, so if I'm doing a longer training run, I'm going to be going, you know, 20 plus miles. And, you know, for the first half, I might wear the Superior 4s, and then I'll switch and go ahead and put on the Lone Peaks. But just a great all-around workhorse of a shoe. My favorite shoe for 100-mile distance, for anything that's really long, or if I really want a lot of cushion, if the, if the trail's going to be really nasty, really technical, I want some great lugs, and you know just something that my feet are going to feel good at the end of the run then i've got my newest shoes that i'm going to go to and those are the olympus and these are the olympus for this is the newest version of olympus this is the most expensive shoe and i'm going to details on these in a different video um but this shoe it's got you know it's got the thickest sole it's got the most cushion on the inside it's got a really aggressive uh, tread, uh, like tread system, you know, lug lug setup here. 
And these actually I used for my most recent race, the I'm Tough 100 in Idaho. It had over 22,000 feet of climb, really technical trails, a lot of dust, a lot of rock, you know, just about anything you can imagine. And so these shoes already have over 100 miles, but they are still comfortable as heck. And they also have more protection in the toes. And if you're like me, like by the end of the race, I find I'm kicking rocks. You know, I get, you know, subungual hematomas, the blood blisters under the toenails. And, you know, this just protects my feet when my, I just don't have quite the, the agility, um, you know, the, you know, the maneuvering ability with my feet anymore. The legs are kind of going out a little bit, you know, these will really protect your feet. And so if you need something that's got maximum protection, maximum cushion to go the ultra distance, this is your shoe. So again, I'm an ultra guy. I've tried other shoes since I've gotten into ultra and just nothing has felt nearly as comfortable. Um, I hardly ever get blisters on my feet. When I finished the I'm tough, I had zero blisters in between my toes due to the room your toe box that ultras are known for. So, you know, they're, they're my go-to, but you know, one, if I'm going to do a shorter run, want something minimalist, then you've got your superiors. If you want something kind of mid range or sort of the jack of all trades, the lone peak is your answer. And if you want the most, you know, aggressive, protective, um, you know, long range shoe, then I would go with the Olympus four. Uh, but with ultra, it's hard to go wrong. So get out there, get on some runs. You know, put in the comments below what your favorite trail running shoes are, whether it's ultra or any other shoe. You know, it's always great to have different things that you can try. I'm always willing to try new things, but those are my shoes. So be safe and uh, have fun on the trails. Cowboy up.